I'm going hunting. I'm going hunting. Man, I don't even think they played that song the entire movie. They didn't. And thank you, Terminator people, for not because um, that's really annoying. I do think that your version was better, though. I'm like all of these hunting. hand motions were great. I'm going hunting. <laughs> Well, anyways, I'm Grace. And I'm Paul, and this is about our reviews. And today we're going to tell you about the movie Terminator: Dark Fate. Yes. And so this Terminator is directed. I mean, this movie is directed <laughs> by the movie The Terminator: Dark Fate. That's right. It's directed by <laughs> Tim Miller, and it stars Linda Hamilton, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Mackenzie Davis, and Natalia Reyes. Yep. And this movie is about a Terminator or a robot, I guess you would say. A.K.A. Robot <laughs> or Terminator. That has been sent back in time from the future um, to kill a young girl. And um, also an enhanced human has been sent back in time to save the girl from the Terminator. That's right. So what would you like about the movie? Well, Grace, I thought the movie got us <laughs> in fast, dude. I thought it was awesome, man. It was. The first scene just, boom, action, 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 action. Mm -hmm. So I thought it was great in that aspect, man. Mm-hmm. What about you? Do you like the action? Yeah, I what thought the action. Oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the action was good. You mentioned that first scene. The first fight scene was really awesome between the Terminator and the enhanced human. Um, sh the enhanced human was like getting down, hitting that dude yeah. with that sledgehammer. <laughs> <laughs> it was intense. It was. She was busty, you know, like bustly too. Like yeah. she was a big chick. <laughs> I think that uh, busty does not mean the, the word that you're trying to <laughs> I say. I know. Bustly maybe or burly? Uh, burly. That's what I'm looking swole? for. Yeah, swole. She was swole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see what's tight though, man. She took that thing. That's one of my favorite scenes too. She was mm -hmm. like, boom, breaking that thing's legs. Mm -hmm. Boom, breaking his head and stuff. Mm -hmm. I also like that at the end she had that chain wrapped in it. She was like, oh, yes. Oh, oh. That was cool. She yeah. was a beast. In That's this some movie. awesome <laughs> action sequences, man. A lot of good fight scenes and stuff like that. Yep. I thought it was great. It was my favorite scene too. Plus, right after that, dude, they actually started developing a lot more about the enhanced character, mm -hmm. as well as uh, just kind of the future of what's going on, man. So mm -hmm. I thought it was cool how it was developed in a story like mm -hmm. that in that way. So, did you like the story in the movie? Uh, we'll have to uh, go back to that. What about you? Is there anything else <laughs> that you liked about this movie? Um, I really liked Arnold Schwarzenegger in the movie. Um, he really knows how to play a robot well, which I think is a compliment. <laughs> this, is, this is how we were supposed to do this. <laughs> yes, and he was also really funny in the movie, which yeah, I appreciated. Was. Yeah, he was really funny. Uh, they had that scene that he was talking about himself, so they sat down and they started to like conversate, I guess, and he mm -hmm. started talking about himself. Mm -hmm. He's funny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then that moment when he was talking about his job, too. Like, yeah. <laughs> not his Terminator job, but his new job. Yeah. Um, he was curtains like, yeah. is all I need to say. <laughs> it was that was so funny, funny, too, yeah. <laughs> also, like, the banter that Linda and uh, uh, Arnold had in the mm -hmm. commercial, you saw that she's about to shoot him, and then uh, that mm -hmm. enhanced human, like, popped the gun up. Mm -hmm. They do a good job back and forth on that, they too. Do. So. Yeah, playing off each other. Yeah, it was pretty fun. Oh, speaking of Lim Lim Linda Hamilton mm -hmm. and... Arnold Schwarzenegger, I, I talked about what I thought that the movie needed to do in order to be a good movie in my uh, trailer reaction, which should be above Grace's head somewhere right here. And uh, <laughs> they did it. They did all that, that I asked for about good. John Connor, about Arnold Schwarzenegger. It kind of introduced, or I guess gave them a bookend or beginning and how that they come to this movie. So I thought that was really good. But uh, we're going to go move to our bad because I just didn't really... Enjoy this. It's the same thing. Hmm. Yeah, I haven't really seen the full Terminator movies all the way through. I'm sorry. Um, so I don't really know if it, you know, what the same is or not. Well, the first one is like uh, Linda Hamilton, mm -hmm. and she is a uh, woman that they come back to save, and Terminator comes to kill because mm -hmm. her son, which she hasn't even got pregnant yet, but ends up getting pregnant, mm -hmm. is the savior of the world. And then second is. Uh, John Connor, mm -hmm. and he's born, and he's just chilling like a regular kid, and they come to kill him because, like mm -hmm. I said, he's the guy that saves the humans mm -hmm. from the uh, rebellion. Well, that sounds exactly like this movie. <laughs> yeah. Save the girl. 
<laughs> save the world. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, I wish they would have, you know, I, I knew that it was going to be like this because obviously you see it in the commercial and stuff. Yeah. But I just thought they might have done something a little bit different. Like, mm-hmm. it was a different way that it would be, Yeah. you know, something different. But yeah. they didn't. I didn't like it. Mm-hmm. Not one bit. Not at all. <laughs> what about you? We get it. <laughs> <laughs> What about um, you? Is there anything you didn't like about the movie? Um, yeah, there were like several parts that just weren't very realistic. I tend to talk about that a lot in my re- reviews, I think. I just, I need it to be authentic and real. <laughs> um, so, for example, like there's this uh, scene where they're like um, in this big plane. It's like this cargo part of the plane. Yeah, and they're standing sure. on the back of it. And they're just chilling there. Like they're not falling off. They're not swaying yeah, in any way. Like and it's like, yeah. yeah, how are you not falling off the back of this plane? Yeah, you know? I know for sure. And then uh, the Terminator dude, like, is indestructible through the whole movie, but then somehow, you know, they start damaging him at the end. It just doesn't, doesn't make <laughs> dude, sense. because he was literally ended. They were like, shoot, you seen the commercial? He, she shot him with a rocket. Yeah, and then man. he just... Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it comes back, yeah. Though that is cool how they put him together. It was like a, a T-1000, so that was how it was not cool but then they advanced a little bit more got him to do a little bit more Mm -hmm. so it was tight though Mm -hmm. yeah and one other thing that wasn't realistic is there was a scene where dude just comes out with the plane like from nowhere like yeah nothing and then plane appears like (laughs) where did that come from yeah there there (laughs) there were a few things that might have been able to be explained better which would enhance your uh viewing of the movie but Mm -hmm. to me i didn't think it really took away from the movie at all man what about you yeah, there was pretty much everything in the movie that took away from the movie <laughs> for me. I I'm mean, you didn't like it. Then yeah, I wasn't a big fan. I mean, the action was great. Like I said, Arnold was great. His humor, but what's so about it? So, what are you gonna rate it then? Well, as you can guess, not very good. <laughs> um, I, I'm gonna give it a little bit though. I'm gonna give it a two out of five R's. Okay. Um, okay. Below average, but not the worst. Yeah. Um, you know, the action was great, and like I said, Arnold was great, but really everything else, I was just like, yeah, yeah. not not for me. What about I, you? Man, I'm going to rate it a three out of five R's. Yeah, you really seem like you enjoyed it during yeah, the, dude, in the I, theater. I, I liked <laughs> this movie. I thought it was really good. I mean, uh, I was, like I said, I was kind of skeptical, but I was going to give it hope, and they did what I asked them to do. They answered mm-hmm. the questions, and then they had a lot of good action, man, a lot mm-hmm. of fighting scenes and stuff like that, and so I thought it was great. There was a little bit where it could have been better, you Mm -hmm. know, but I thought it was an enjoyable movie overall. Yeah, for sure. So the last thing, is it a redeemable movie? Well, I think this movie, actually, it shines a light on sacrifice for others. Mm -hmm. It also uh, shines a light of love and family. Mm -hmm. And then it also uh, shows hope. Mm -hmm. So I thought all those things were good. And so if you're of age, because there's a lot of F-bombs, yeah. Then, uh, and action sequences, of course. But mm-hmm. if you're of age, I think, yeah, you, you can watch it because it does have some good stuff in there. Yeah, for sure. Well, thank you guys for watching. We hope that you enjoyed this video. Make sure you give us a thumbs up. That makes us feel really great about ourselves. <laughs> Which, going hunting. Yeah, and if you liked his singing, you know, give another thumbs up for that. <laughs> Make sure you also hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so that you can get notifications whenever we come out with new videos because you want to hear more of his lovely voice and, and hear some of our fun banter. I'll get her to sing sometime too. <laughs> so until next time, we hope you guys have a great week. And keep watching movies. <laughs>